All right, the next knot we're gonna be going over is the military rappel seat. It is a 60 second knot, and we're gonna start by matching our pigtails here, and then we trace back to the middle of our rope. Now, once we have the middle of our rope, this bite right here, we're gonna place it on our left hip. Once we have that bite on our left hip, we're gonna drop the bottom strand. We're gonna reach around with our right hand, pulling it over to our right side and out in front of us. Now we're gonna make what's called our Twizzler wrap. Okay, so Twizzler wrap, we go left over right, under and through, and then one more time, under and through. Now we need to tighten this down. So when this is all said and done, everything needs to be above your belt. So in order to, to facilitate that, we're gonna make sure that our Twizzler wrap is above our belly button and that it's set down nice and tight. Now, once we have that Twizzler wrap set down nice and tight, we're gonna take both strands and throw them in between our legs, pull up, and we're gonna punch down. Now we have two bites uh, on our backside here with the pigtails inboard. All right, so my pigtails are inboard. They go down through our waist loop and out to the side. Now I need to tighten these down. So what I'm gonna do is squat down and then pull out as I stand up. All right, and that should set these leg straps uh, bisecting your pockets, all right? So we need to set these leg straps right in the middle of your pockets, not getting too far outside and not getting too far inside, all right? Just right there in the middle. Now, once we do that, we're gonna bring both strands over to our left hip and we're gonna tie a square knot. All right, it looks exactly like the square knot that we tied earlier. So left over right, set it down, right over left, set it down. Again, you should not be able to fit a pinky through the center of that square knot. We need to tie our overhand safeties. So just like we did earlier, we have our locking bar going over. So we're gonna follow it over, around, and through. Locking bar goes under on that one, so we go under, around, and through. Making sure not to encompass the bottom strand, okay? We're just uh, encompassing that, that second one. Now, last thing. I have this carabiner over here on my hip. When you're going through this, you can either keep it in your pocket here, or you can place it here on your blouse or your uh, t-shirt. I like to keep it in my pocket, though. We're gonna pick it up. We have this little tooth right here. We're gonna face that towards us and go down through the waist loop and the Twizzler wrap and flip it so that the gate is up and the load end of the carabiner is out. All right, once we have our carabiner in the proper orientation, we're just gonna lock it down and that will complete the military repel seat. 60 seconds. Uh, to go through the grading criteria, so you need to have a, everything needs to be above your belt. You should not be able to fit a, your fist through any part of this, okay? So it needs to be nice and tight. You have a proper Twizzler wrap. Your hitches need to be proper hitches. So going over our leg loop, the leg loops need to be bisecting your pockets. And then our square knot needs to be within rope corral standards, okay? So you should not be able to fit a pinky through the center of that square knot. Overhand safeties need to be following the locking bar and in contact with the locking bar. Our pigtails need to be at least a fist. So there is no maximum length on these pigtails. They just need to be at least a fist. And then our carabiner needs to be in the proper orientation. So load end out, away from us, gate up, and lock down. Again, more than a quarter turn out of this locking nut constitutes an unlocked carabiner. That is a military repel seat, 60 second knock.